Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury with Yuli 89. During this episode we're gonna kick go go turns ass. Well let's see how that works out for us, shall we? I wasn't aware that there was a gear difference between trucks and goto. I thought there was at least I thought there was two. I'm sure there is. Because I'm sure Gert Trunks was only a year old when the cell games happened. And it would have been another nine months, they thought it would make it about two years. Hmm. Oh god, that's a typical kid combat. Yeah, I'll let you know how it is. Alright, this time I'm not even going to mess about. Okay, this should get down to some of his help. Because the thing with the flying Kame Kamehameha wave is that it doesn't throw him back too quick. It does allow you some room. Like, it doesn't throw him back quick enough, but it gives him more damage than a normal Kamehameha wave. The trunks is definitely worth play playing with. <laughs> look at her kill. He's starting to really get scared and worried. And he's just realised he's going to have to fight one of them. Well, that has got to be the most awesome way. Anyway, now we'll get to fight him again. It's a Super Saiyan. Okay. Let's kick him in. Ha. Ah, amazing. Now, after I've finished doing this episode, I might go home and watch some Dragon Ball Z and sort of get more... Into, into it as I was when I was a kid. I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z in a few years. But I do remember, like, like, it still is a really good show. And they're remaking it into another series called Dragon Ball Kai. It should be okay. But the fact that they're still trying to milk this cow for everything it's worth after a good decade. And what the hell's Hercule doing? Are you gonna run away? Oh, yeah, he's still next to a wall, bud. Hey, look. All right, you people, I hope you're ready to rock because Hercule is in the house. Oh, yeah. Nah. It's going to be this evening, though. Yeah, he's a little, he's as, like a little worm. No, I'm surprised they didn't um, put, like, whisper. Like put it in brackets for a whisper. Let's take it easy, okay? Oh, this is what I don't like about young trucks. He's too arrogant. The older trucks was a lot cooler. Hmm, and fight. No, I don't want him to hit me. He's a grown man, what am I saying? Awesome. Now, this game didn't do any re anything revolutionary for the industry at the time, but the Dragon Ball Z game, at the time, on a portable device, it was alright. It came out just, well, at a decent time, but I think they have milked the series a bit now. And there's not really anything else you could do, and as I said in one of my previous episodes, you could, um put the Budokai Tenkaichi fighting style with a game like this and I think it could work to a certain extent but I do like Hercule in this game, he does, like, does show he's is somewhat of a hero but that's not till like the very end okay well let's see what everyone has to say no one's talking to him. I'm sure what Fidget has to say. Hmm, I'm sure you will. Ladies love me if I wouldn't. Oh my god. Wow, they, they don't really cost a lot. Are you sure you know how much this turn is actually giving out? Wow, this guy's huge. I can't remember his name, or his, 
I'm, I just remember they don't say much and they're partially the villains. Okay, let's see how we get on. Save it for one, I haven't saved it as of yet. Okay. Is everyone ready for the tournament to begin? Yep, I am. Now, they could have done this during the junior division where they do something quite similar. But I think they did it so Trunks would get some more levels. Not, not too bad, I guess. It's not a bad dynamic to do. But it just wastes a bit more time. And I'd rather get on with the plot a bit. Now. Okay, so we know very little about him here, but he looks like the most odd thing. <laughs> he knows his name. Okay. At least we get to play as Piccolo. Or not. Why is the e I just noticed the energy bar is still there, so shouldn't that disappear? And this is the first time I've ever heard Piccolo say that he won't fight throughout the entire series, because normally he's so eager to have a fight. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Mad Junior, that's a bit of an odd name for Piccolo to choose one. He should have just gone and called himself Piccolo. I'm sure they've forgiven him by now. Okay. Now the next fight is actually hard, so I will have to end it there and, like, just before this fight. Because you can't use healing items, which is one of the very few times within the game that you can. And you've got a fight with Videl, she's got no energy attack, she's not very strong. And the fight itself is pretty hard. Okay. Spopovich. Oh, Spopovich. That sounds like a German rock band. And now, here's Spopovich. Well, at least we get to play as Videl, I guess. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to leave this episode because... This fight is quite hard, and I don't want to have to restart this episode over and over and over again. But this is Julia 89 saying, keep watching.